All right, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some very interesting and useful galactic effects, and also then how to put a super high gloss on your painting. So we're going to start out with comets. Now, many of you know that you can make a comet by turning the can upside down, but here's another technique that you can use is you can fold a piece of poster board and spray inside of it. You can mold that piece of poster board with your hand so that the comet opens up as its tail goes back or it can go back in. Another thing you can do is make a little planet with a CD just by spraying two colors, black and white, maybe another color to color it. You can add that to any planet, adds a lot of detail. Okay, let's make some suns. I like to use circle cutouts to make suns. You can spray a a transparent color or just a very light coating of a color. In this case I've used some different uh, pinks and yellows to create the glow inside the sun and then I used that CD again to make the uh, center and, and I poked a hole in some poster board and made another center in the middle. And just those layers of thin color make that sun seem to glow. So there's a few effects for you. I go into much greater detail in the membership area, um, but th that'll definitely get you started. I think that the people who are observant can see a lot. So I'm going to show you how to put a real high gloss on it now. And we're going to use a product called Art Resin. Art Resin is an epoxy resin. It's clear. It's uh, got no volatile organic compounds, which means that um, you don't need to wear a mask when you use it. You're not breathing in anything dangerous. Basically, it's really easy. You just mix half of one bottle and half of another. Mix them up really, really good. You gotta be real careful when you when you pour the quantities. You wanna measure it the best you can. In this case, I've got a little cup with some measuring markings on it. It's gotta be exactly half and half. We're pretty damn close. Now I've been able to do this by eye and just estimate, and I haven't had a problem. But it's worth it's worth taking great care with this because the chemicals in both of these both of these substances are going to mix together and create your clear gloss. So if you have a little bit more one or a little bit more of the other, it may not dry as well as you would like. So remember to mix it up really, really, really good. This is the simplest way to do this, to create a super, super high gloss that I have found. Uh, there are other pro resin products out there, but unfortunately a lot of them have some dangerous chemicals that you might breathe in the air. and. Uh, some of them are really expensive, some of them are slightly yellow or yellow with time. This is a level. You want to make sure that the surface that you do this on is, is completely level, so measure it and make sure that little little dots in the middle on your level. And when you got it all mixed up, you're going to pour it over your painting. This is going to make like a, when I say super high gloss, I mean like like a sheet of glass on top of your painting, deepening all the colors so that they really shine. You know, sometimes like the paintings when they're wet, they look amazing, and then when they dry, it's like, oh, it lost something. This will bring back the wet forever. It will be so shiny and so glossy, like it was under glass. So then you spread it around. I just used a, a torn piece of poster board to do this. I mean, you can get a tool to do this, but I just tear off a sheet because it's going to get dirty anyway, and I want to toss it. So it's a piece of poster board I'm using. And I'm going almost to the edge. And then once I've gone almost to the edge and I've got an, an even coating on my painting, then I'm bringing it all the way to the edge. And then I'm cleaning off the edges as well. So there I'm bringing it all the way to the edge, getting all those edges completely covered, and then cleaning off the side edge to make sure that no paint's dripping off. Now if you if you're, some of your uh, resin, art resin drips off, I mean resin dripping off, then what you want to do is, as this dries, you want to move it just a little bit, just slightly move it so it doesn't stick to the surface that you're working on, and it should be fine. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned some good galactic effects and how to make a super high gloss. And if you want to learn these painting effects, just go to spraypaintartsecrets.com and get some art resin too. Ciao.